Hello and welcome to the lesson on sensitivity analysis in ANSYS Optus Line Process Integration and Design Optimization Software using the Adaptive Meta Model of Optimal Prognosis or AMOP for short. After the process integration is completed, we can proceed to design optimization phase beginning with sensitivity analysis which helps us identify optimization potential and the corresponding important variables. In this lesson, we will focus on understanding sensitivity analysis and its worth before learning how to set it up for our analysis. Excited? Let's get started. Sensitivity analysis aims to investigate parameter importance and reduce complexity by focusing on the relevant parameters. It involves three steps. It begins with ANSYS Optus Lang software generating a design of experiments, DOE, that will place different designs to optimally cover the design space. Solution to each design is obtained using the automated simulation process set up during process integration. Once all the designs are calculated, all input and output parameters are available, an approximation of each output as a function of the design parameters can be created as a second step. This is called meta model or response surface, which is a simplified representation of a complex system that captures the essential aspects of its behavior with respect to varying input parameters. ANSYS Optus Lang application can utilize AI ML algorithms to create meta models to find the best meta modeling approach. The forecast quality of the meta model is measured by the coefficient of prognosis (COP), and the meta model with the highest COP is chosen which is called Meta Model of Optimal Prognosis or MOP. The MOP is the best available description of the relationship between input parameters and each output parameter. The third step is the sensitivity analysis. ANSYS Optus Lang software automatically neglects insignificant parameters and based on the MOP, the most important input parameters are evaluated related to each output parameter. You can even use an adaptive approach where ANSYS Optus Lang software redefines the DOE based on the initial results to improve the meta model's quality through further iterations. In this approach, new designs are added automatically in interesting regions of the design space, where new observations could improve the meta model quality. These designs are evaluated and the MOP is recreated. This is called Adaptive Meta Model of Optimal Prognosis or AMOP, which reduces the need for manual input and simulations. It's recommended to use it when you have a complex problem space, need an efficient way to explore and optimize it. Let us now proceed towards setting up the sensitivity analysis in our problem. Open the saved ANSYS Optus Lang project. Drag the sensitivity wizard onto the top of the parametric solver system and drop it when the parametric solver system turns green. Leave the input parameterization and criteria settings unchanged and click next to arrive at sampling method. We will use the default adaptive meta model of optimal prognosis AMOP sampling approach. Click next and then click on finish to close the visit. Double click on the header of AMOP pane to open the AMOP settings and go to the adaption tab. For the maximum number of samples, enter the value of 150 which defines the upper limit of the total number of design evaluations. When deciding on this value, one must consider the complexity of design, 
the desired accuracy of the results and the run time to balance the need for thorough analysis against the time and resource available. It is best practice to run at at least 50 to 100 designs or twice the number of input parameters. Whichever yields the higher number should be used as the minimum number of designs to accurately capture parameter importance. Upon opening the advanced settings, you will notice the default target COP is set to achieve a global prognosis quality of 0.9. Sensitivity analysis is an iterative process and the default maximum iteration is 3, which in this case implies that the number of samples in each iteration will be 50. Therefore, the number of samples used could be 50, 100 or 150 depending on the convergence of the global prognosis quality. In the post-processing, after running the analysis, we can check how many iterations are needed to reach convergence. Press OK to close the panel. Notice that the parametric system has turned grey and it is not active anymore. The AMOP and the parametric system are now two independent systems and are not linked with each other. Now run the sensitivity analysis. This might take few hours depending on the computational resources used. Once the process is completed, ANSYS OptisLang application opens the post-processing automatically or you can open it manually by double-clicking on the post-processing node. The post-processing window has different plots and widgets for changing settings, preferences and adding visuals for better understanding of data. The post-processing is interactive so feel free to explore various options in the window. Let us briefly look at the different plots. The COP matrix quantifies the importance of parameters through values and colors. The total COP value for inlet pressure output parameter is well over 90%, which means the predictive capability for the response value is very good. Therefore, this approximation model can be used as a solver substitute for the subsequent optimization. The COP matrix indicates that the parameter Vane's 1 rotation is more important relative to Vane's 2 rotation. Please note that the COP value and the individual parameter importance may vary by some percentage points due to numerical reasons. So, you may not see the exact same values on your end. From the approximation history and the iteration details we learned that the only one iteration out of the three are used. This means 50 designs are sufficient to create an approximation model or high prognosis quality. This can also be verified by clicking on show details in the common settings. These 50 design points are used for meta model and are visible in the response 3D plot. The response surface 3D plot features the two most significant parameters on the horizontal axis which can be determined by the COP matrix. In our case, we have three variables, vein 1 angle, vein 2 angle and pressure drop. Remember, we aim to minimize the inlet pressure. It can be seen in the middle of the design space that the vein 1 angle appears to be approximately minus 0.06 radians the vane 2 angle is around minus 0.03 radians and the inlet pressure is close to 17 pascals. Note that if there are multiple input and output parameters present, we can select the required parameters for the 3D response plot for the dimension selection in common settings. At the top of the plot, we can see the selected type of meta model, which in this case is a linear regression model. Below it, the global COP value is given. The plausibility of results should always be checked using the engineer's physical understanding to verify whether the dependency of the meta model on the parameters aligns with the expectations. The approximated values are plotted against the data values in the residual plot along with the error ranges to illustrate the quality of prediction. 
This plot can be useful for identifying the deactivating outliners. Generally, iterations that deviate significantly from the prediction line can be discarded. However, it is recommended to first check the simulation results to determine whether the issue lies with the design and the iteration can truly be discarded or if it represents real physics in which case additional samples may be needed to capture this behavior. Additional visuals can be added to the post-processing, for instance, drag and drop the design table into the working window. Click on tile sub-window to approximately adjust the sub-windows. In the design table, we can examine the design points and corresponding parameter values. Selecting designs in one window will also mark the designs in other windows. If you have an objective defined in the wizard, you could click on select best design or designs in the common settings. It will select the design with the lowest inlet pressure value. Likewise, the design number can be entered in the design selection box to acquire parameter values to respective iterations or we can simply check the values in the design table display. With that, let's summarize the lesson. In this lesson, we began with discussing briefly about sensitivity analysis in ANSYS OptiSlang application, the steps it involves and the important outcomes. We learned about coefficient of prognosis and adaptive meta model of optimal prognosis along with their significance. We then set up the sensitivity analysis using sensitivity wizard in ANSYS OptiSlang application while employing AMO. After the successful sensitivity analysis run, we examined the post-processing and how it helps to understand the results. Finally, the sensitivity analysis yielded an approximation model with a very good predictive quality and hence can be used as a solver substitute for subsequent optimization, which will be discussed in the upcoming lesson. With this, we come to the end of this lesson.